Hi, this is Life on Earth with Larissa. I am Larissa. Thanks again for joining me today. We are going to be talking about choices. Choices. So stay tuned. Make sure you tune into every part so you will have a full understanding of what we're trying to communicate in regards to choices. Parents are uh, responsible for helping that young person make wise and good choices. Now, uh, everybody's situation is unique. Not every young person has a uh, parent, a responsible uh, parent or um, a responsible uh what's the name, guardian. They don't have a responsible parent or a responsible guardian in their lives to help them make good choices, wise choices. And, um, and so they don't have that foundation on making good choices. Everybody's situation is unique. Some, some youth um, have uh have a guardian or someone in their lives helping them to make uh helping them to make uh good choices which is a blessing because when they become adults they're already used to making good wise choices okay so i said that to say this um every situation is unique everybody uh grows up different um well you got you, you have people that grow up in the same household and somehow they go on different paths. You know, um, maybe they were, maybe you got a, a group of, of youth. Um, it might've been three of them. They were all raised in the same household. They were uh, groomed, they were taken to church. Um, and somehow they all uh, ch chose different life paths. You know, they were, uh, they were taught certain things and, and then somehow they all turn out different or they're all leaving different lifestyles. It's because we're, we all have choices. So the parents might have instilled in the children or the youth certain things. Um, now, whether the children or the, uh, whether the, uh, whether the youth uh, took that information and applied it to their lives, the ball is in a children's court, okay? So it is their responsibility to take the knowledge from that, that has been passed on to them, the guidance that has been passed on to them and apply it to their lives. Now, like I said, some, some youth, they don't have a responsible guardian uh, helping them to make better choices or, or wiser choices. In that case, now we're faced with an adult who is not used to making good choices, wise choices. They're not used to making those. Um, they get a baby Kool-Aid, like I've heard this, this said back in the day. Um, uh, that's like a parent giving their young child Kool-Aid before bed and then the child has a uh, sugar high, so to speak. So they got plenty of energy uh, right before bedtime. And then the parent says, little Johnny, it's time for you to go to sleep. But then little Johnny is like, I'm not tired. I'm full of energy. So they're not tired at all because you sat up there and well, the parents sat up there and gave them Kool-Aid late at night when it's time for bedtime. So they probably shouldn't have any sugar before bedtime. And then they sit up there and, and then whip the child or uh, punish the child because the child is not going in there to lay down and go to sleep because they got full, they're full of energy. So it's like a double whammy. That's, that's not a good choice. So the parent um, is not making good choices, okay? So because maybe someone haven't told them how, okay, hey, when you're a parent, you can't give your kids 
you know, Kool-Aid late at night. You can't get them no sweet treats uh, too late at night and then expect them to go to sleep, you know. Um, so uh, I said that to say we are faced with uh, choices on a daily basis. When we're a youth, our parents are responsible for guiding us or our guardian is responsible for guiding us in making choices. So what happens when we become adults? Who is responsible for the choices we make? After we become adults, who is responsible for the choices we make? We are. We are fully responsible for all of the choices we make. Um, we are fully responsible for all of the choices we make. Um, and sometimes we make choices um, and they're just simply not good choices. Sometimes we make uh, good choices. Uh, sometimes we make choices that are not good. Sometimes we make choices that are bad. Sometimes we make them good. Um, it, um, the issue is we are responsible for our daily choices. Uh, from the time we get up in the morning to the time we go to sleep, we are responsible for every one of our choices. We, we can't blame anyone for our choices. We cannot. Now, when we're a kid or a child, you know, we might be able to say, well, I was never taught that or my mom, or not my mom, my guardian never taught me uh, how to handle finances. So I really did not know, you know, how to handle finances. Um, but uh, once you become an adult, you're responsible for all of your choices. So if they never taught you, if your guardian never taught you how, <clears throat> how to handle your finances, then you have to come to the point to say, wait a minute, I don't know about finances. Apparently, because I keep getting evicted, you know, I'm not paying my bills on time, you know, or other things are becoming priority before I, I pay my bills, you know. I'm like, I do some shopping, I go online, do some shopping, I go hang out with my homeboys, other things are priority and then next thing you know you got an eviction notice because you did not make that priority well who can you blame who can you blame after you become an adult and you bump your head and uh, once or twice you know because you you might encounter a situation like wow okay so I never learned how to budget, so now I'm learning, okay, I need to learn how, I need to make sure I budget in order to be timely um, um, in paying things, and so I'll be able to stretch my dollar or my cash for until the next time uh, I get paid or my checks comes in the mail, whatever. Um, you have to learn that if you're not taught that because first you're going to come up you might come up short the first time okay so say there's a situation you you might get your first check paycheck as an adult and you're out living on your own and you got bills and student loans and who knows uh, what else okay and you got uh your paycheck so you got your paycheck and you start uh, buying things and you start paying some things, well, then you end up coming short. You know, when it's time to uh, pay a certain bill, it turns out, wow, I don't have enough cash to pay this. You know, that's, that's your first lesson, okay? That's your first lesson, okay, that you have to do something different um, so you can get a different result next month because if that happens again next month some people are going to be like okay what's going on here do you not know how to budget 
No, that means you have to, as an adult, you have a choice. Either you can keep trying to figure it out yourself or you can go and find somebody that can show you how to do a budget, you know, show you how to manage your cash for an entire month or however often you get paid. You know, that was, those are things you're going to have to go and get information for. You can't blame anyone. Um, the first time, sometimes people give you a pass and a, okay, now first month, all right, you get a pass. But if that keeps happening, um, say that happens when you're 18, 19, 21, something like that, somewhere around that age, whenever you're out on your own first, what, at whatever age that happens, say you're 21 and that happens. Well, if that's still happening and you're 25, there something isn't right. Something isn't right. And uh, that means those are the choices you're making. You're choosing to put yourself in that situation again and again, month after month. You don't want to do that. I mean, you need, that means you need to make better choices. That means you need to start making a better choice in regards to your finances. Oh. That means you need to start making a better choice in regards to your finances. Oh. That means you need to start making a better choice in regards to your finances. Once that person becomes adult, now they become fully responsible for their own choices. Okay. And that concludes uh, part two of the four part series choices. This has been life on earth with Larissa. I thank you again for joining me. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you next time.